Hey everybody. So I redid my whole workout and really designed it around changeover. One of the biggest problems that I think guys have, or I have, is when we get into the gym, you know, we got so much to do, so many different exercises, and it ends up taking a super long time to get anything done, uh, or to get the whole thing done, if we get it done at all. So a lot of times I've been working out and I have to go to work. I have to quit working out. I have to stop right in the middle of the workout. So sometimes I try to go back and finish up the workout later on in the day, but you know, that kind of sucks because, you know, I've got a life. And so <clears throat> I redesigned my whole workout to get my whole body worked out in four days. Um, four days that not only is going to really make my bench press stronger, my squats stronger, my deadlift stronger, but I'm also going to um, build muscle because there's a lot of uh, volume in addition to very intense uh, weights. So anyway, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as I start to show this workout and see if anybody else is interested in doing something similar. Um, you know, I've got certain things. I don't have any machines, you know, so I have to make do with what I have and still come out and be really strong. I work out at Anytime Fitness sometimes too. But I can't make that my main place to work out. So that's just a bonus. I'll do some extra machine stuff when I'm at Engine Fitness. So this is what I was talking about with trying to get a lot out of the workout by reducing changeover so I believe in all I've, I've got about 12 sets of deadlifts and some of them are you know, 10 some of them are five some of them are three a lot of them are one and then I've got 10 minutes at my working weight so those are the working weight is 405 pounds which was my previous max uh, one rep max and I'm going to be doing that for 10 minutes, one rep at a time, um, with the goal to try to get over 14 reps. After that, then I will drop it down to 315, and I will just do 10 more reps of that. So. Just so you know, the music that is on this video is not the music I'm listening to while I'm lifting weights. I was listening to a lot of Rob Zombie, White Zombie, and not this weird stuff. But YouTube and Instagram ban my videos if I leave the stuff I'm listening to on, so I have to get this, um, well, whatever kind of, <laughs> whatever kind of music I can find that is royalty free so today we've got you know it's the music and then it's actually me singing in falsetto so i hope you enjoy it I feel like I should also mention that in between these uh, repetitions, I am not just having a seizure. This is actually sped up so it wouldn't take so long. 
If this is 10, I think... No, I think it's... This might have been a really crappy one right here. Oh, this is so bad. There's one coming up here that, for whatever reason, was really hard. That was fine. This is it. So after that one, that was number 12, I took a really long break, and then I wish I hadn't taken quite as long of a break. 13 was easier than 12. But then the bell went off. So my 10 minutes were over, so that's going to get us into the next portion of the video, and that is what I have left. So since I... After that repetition, I actually did 10 more um, reps at 315, but not singles. It was just 3 315 over and over again. So I wanted to show my setup for calves. It is pretty crappy, but it works. Calves definitely uh, get filled with blood and all that. So after that, I'm supersetting uh, calves with abs. So it's come in here and do some crunches do it on the carpet because it's more comfortable and I was doing sets of tw um, 20 calf raises followed by 20 crunches and I did three of those three sets of those and then just one final set of abs that's just knee raises no not one set I did three of these two so anyways the whole workout took me one hour and seven minutes that's it.